Hi guys, I'm back. This is awkward. <laughs> I know it's been like, what, almost three years? Um, yeah, a lot has happened since then. Uh, it's kind of funny because my last video on this channel was basically me being like, guys, stay tuned. I have an exciting announcement and a surprise. I'm really excited. The announcement never happened on YouTube and that video was pretty much my last since then. So basically what happened was, in a nutshell, I'll probably talk more about more about it on my podcast, which we'll get to in a minute, but um, what happened was <laughs> I got pregnant and then um, I was planning on using the channel to document everything and still do tarot readings for everybody but my first trimester of pregnancy was really, really bad. Um, nothing to, you know, worry about postpartum, but, um, you know, just really bad symptoms. So I decided to not do anything. <laughs> and for my mental health, I just decided to take some time off, which I should have probably clarified, but I just didn't have the mental energy or capacity to do YouTube, so that's why. Anyway, <laughs> I'm back. And I promise not to leave on a two to three year cliffhanger anymore. I actually have to go back and check to see how long it's been. But um, there are going to be some changes to this channel. The name's going to change. It's not going to be This Charming Life anymore, just FYI. I am changing it to The Playful Witch because that is the name of the podcast that my sister and I do together. My sister will be more involved in these videos. We're going to try to do like more of a vlog style and... Sorry if I'm talking weird. It's really late at night. I'm really tired. It's been a long day. But um, I'm showing you this because I wanted to show you my Halloween Halloween direct. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> because <laughs> take two. Because I wanted to show you my Halloween decorations. Um, I love Halloween. Halloween is near and dear to my heart, to my family's heart. It is my wedding anniversary as well, my brother's birthday, and just a lot of special um, happenings around Halloween in our family. So that is why I wanted to share with you my decor. And it's nothing to write home about, but, you know, I enjoy it. So anyway, um, this tablecloth here, my mom actually got it for me. She purchased it at Aldi, and I got that Hello Pumpkin candle, like, a couple years ago, maybe. Probably, like, at, excuse me, Home Goods. And I got those um, salt and pepper shakers, probably, at Home Goods, too. And a little ghost at the 99 cent store. And we actually went to a really cool pumpkin farm to get that little pumpkin, and my daughter drew all over it. So we let her do that while we're carving pumpkins because she's still a little, too little to um, handle tools, carving tools right now. And then I have my trusty old coffee bar, which I picked up, and uh, it's in rougher shape than I would like it to be, but I love it. Um, we did a little shabby chic a renovation on it I mean it was like in really bad shape like it was falling off the wheels it had holes and it's just it was nasty but anyway so these are my uh, decorations I've had that thing oh my gosh I can't even remember how long um let's see I probably got it back in I want to say 2010 maybe 2009 I've had it for a while I got it at Big Lots I'll, I'll never forget that because I love that thing and I got my little pumpkin that I got from the dollar store those um, witch boots I got from Dollar Tree. I don't remember the prices on these guys. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, this is my brew bar. I know a lot's like happening as I bump into my table. <laughs> um, this is my brew bar. And I'm obsessed with the pumpkin uh, syrups from the, was it skinny syrups? Yeah. And then I have all my little knickknacks and whatnot. Yeah, so I like it. It's fun, you know. Um, what else? Uh, my my failed cauldron, my failed attempt to draw a cauldron while my daughter's like biting my my knee and my calves as I'm trying to draw this on a little step ladder. And uh, let's go around this way. Sorry for the shaky camera if it's shaking. Um, I have my Halloween cups. My let's see if I can get it close up on that. Those are my Hocus Pocus cups that my sister gifted me. And I got my Bad Witch, Good Witch cups. And these are just some gifts for like 
UPS and FedEx because, you know, they come to my house uh, quite often. And it's not because, you know, I'm, I'm a shopaholic. It's because we live far from retail and that's like kind of like, you know, our main, not our main source of uh, purchasing goods, but it's, it, it's pretty, you know, pretty important to us. I mean, we have grocery stores and stuff, so, but we get a lot of dry goods through mail. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to change the lighting in here, so give me a second. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to change the lighting up a bit. There we go. Okay, so I got my trick-or-treat sign there. I don't remember where I got it. They got the bucket of Target and those little guys I've had, like I said, since like 2009. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you my little witch corner that I'm excited about. Um, I wanted to do like a little theme in the kitchen. Well, generally, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of like a witchy kitchen. Um, I don't know. I just like that aesthetic, especially I wish I had a kitchen like Practical Magic. That's like the ultimate goal, but I really do... Um, love my kitchen now it's funny because i wanted it to be or i wanted to have a white kitchen um but as we're oh side note sorry i'm like all over the place and i'm like stepping into stuff <laughs> side note um this house i actually uh, my husband and i bought a year ago and so we're still in the middle of like you know renovating and stuff uh, we just painted those walls white and i wanted a white kitchen but after painting all the walls white well, not all of them, but some of them. I was like, you know what? This is growing on me, so I'll probably keep it that way. But I digress. Anyway, <laughs> back to the Halloween decor. I got my witch's brew. Again, my mom purchased that. She's a real one. I love her. I got my Wicked Witch sign I got last year, probably from like TJ Maxx. And then this is like one of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is um, my Witch's Garden pumpkin. My little mascot witch that we use for our podcast. And then I had these since forever. I don't even, I can't even tell you. I was probably like a kid when I got those. A little, um, what is that from? Bath and Body Works. Yeah, Bath and Body Works plug-in. And I think that's it. I mean, it, like I said, it's not a lot, but, you know, it's something. And I'm just going to come around here and show you... My little pumpkins, my cookies. Again, I'll switch up the lighting. There we go. And this warmer is like one of my favorite things too. This is from Walmart. It was like 10 bucks. And these candles from Aldi are everything. And this is a special candle because my sister-in-law made it. And yeah, so that's about it. And I got this spooky sign. I think I got this around the same time I got that spooky statue at Big Lots years, many, many moons ago. So anyway, so this is the first half of our Halloween decor and our Halloween home. <laughs> For now, um, I will be showing you more in just a bit. And this is my little Halloween nook. Um, you can see the city lights out there. Anyway, this is our little Halloween nook and my little pumpkin with, with the witch's hat. And um, I was kind of considering like taking this out like demoing it out but I don't know like it's, it has a lot of charm and I just liked it so much and when we first moved in here uh my daughter she was only like six months old or seven months old and I got to breastfeed her looking out and it was just it was just really like special to me like she would fall asleep on top of me while we're looking outside I don't know so I decided to keep it what do you guys think let me know in the comments what have you taken it out would you paint it or would you would you keep it like I did? And this is my fireplace uh, mantle, and um, I'm just gonna go by little by little on here. I have my witches go riding sign. I don't remember I got that. Another cute candle made by my sister-in-law, and I got these pumpkins at Target. Again, those are super old, and I got these like I think in 2015, 2014 at Ross. Some really cool candles. Essence of Fear. And these towers are, um, I don't know what they're called. Towers or uh, uh, risers. I got them on Target.com 
through their dollar spot or bullseye spot. And this thing, my mom once again <laughs> found this at a thrift store, and it's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> I forgot that turns on. I'll get to that in a second, but it's like a skeleton couple, and they're sitting on a bench. Let me see if I can uh, put the lights on. There you go. Kind of see it better. So it's a cloche with a skeleton couple sitting on a bench and with a tree around it and it had purple lights in it but I didn't like how it, like, it really didn't go with the rest of the theme so I put some Dollar Tree uh, lights in there so I like that better and um, that guy got a target <laughs> and it just like freaked me out for a second and that sign again my mother got from the Dollar Tree I love my mom she's always looking out for me anyway um, let me go back. And if you're wondering what you were hearing in the background, it was just some YouTube ambiance. And there you have it. And again, this is more of like my orange and black pumpkin jack-o'-lantern theme. I'm so like, I don't know why I'm nervous. I've done this before. Um, maybe not to this extent because this is more of like a vlogging style, but I don't know. Anyway, we're moving on. And here is another wall. This is like my skull and fortune telling theme. Um, again, the 31, very significant. And uh, this year my mother got us a wedding anniversary present and it's the personalized Sleepy Hollow Farm sign. That was really cool. Got this little ghost at Target. Got that sign at the 99 cent store. And I don't remember where I got the skulls again. That was many years ago. Um, don't remember where I got any of this except for got those trees at five and below really good deal I think they're like three bucks um, very affordable and yeah so I think that's about it yeah that's pretty much the decor for now and you know I'm sure I'll get more stuff as the years go by I do actually have quite a few stuff outside but there's been a storm so <laughs> It got all messed up, to be honest with you. One of the tombstones actually cracked in half. Halloween attire, check. It's a mess right now, but we're getting there. Got our ghost buddies back. <laughs> What's your name? Southern California and you know normally like people don't think about you know SoCal having really bad winter storms but or not even winter storms a fall storm but um, I live in the mountains and we have basically like our own little um, microclimate I mean obviously the mountains are colder and we have our own little you know our own storms but like I live on the edge of the mountain so we definitely in our spot have our own little microclimate. Like we'll have fog and the rest of the mountain won't have fog, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Like it'll be 10 degrees colder where I'm at as opposed to in town. So yeah, it's, I mean, I love it, you know, it's weird, but I love it. It's nature, we love Mother Earth. I got that sign at five and below as well. So yeah, like I said, um, there'll be more decor to come and you know, with along with, um, what am I trying to say? As the years go by, <laughs> there'll be more decor. I actually got rid of a lot of stuff. I've had them for so long. We used to throw so many Halloween parties back in the day. So I accumulated quite a lot of stuff. But like I said, I, I don't even have some stuff out right now, but um, you know, things get broken and passing and you know, you move on from certain things. But I'm actually looking at those candles I left lit. I get very nervous. I don't like to leave candles unattended, especially because we're in the mountains. I take it very seriously. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna go turn off these candles, turn everything off and go hug my baby or my toddler. She's two now. I love her to death. Going back a little bit to that story. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna expand on it on our podcast, which deals with like esoteric tarot, paranormal hauntings, um, spooky stuff. I really have to watch my language <laughs> on YouTube. It's a whole different ball game on podcasts 
my sister and I probably have potty mouths, but you know, like I said, here it's a little different. So if that, you know, if you're turned off by that, then you probably don't want to listen to our podcast. <laughs> anyway, um, I promise to keep you guys in the loop. I promise not to leave you hanging anymore. That was pretty, pretty rough. Um, I like, but like I said, for my mental health and um, for what I was going through at the time, I just had no mental capacity to like do a video and post it and all that stuff. Like I just, I physically was, I could barely stand. Um, so just a little side note, I got in like insanely dizzy my first trimester. Like I couldn't even stand, I was so dizzy all the time. So I wasn't thinking about YouTube, you know, it wasn't even like in my realm of thoughts. I was just thinking about getting healthy, staying healthy, you know, for my daughter. And yeah, so I, it was just a weird symptom, I guess. Um, you know, people have them, but like it was just severe for me. So anyway, I don't want to ramble. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Like I said, look for changes. It's going to change to the Playful Witch. I'll be introducing my sister. She's super intuitive. Um, she has the, a discernment like no one, no other person I've ever met. She, <laughs> you know, it's funny because again, I'm going, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. But, you know, she'll be the type of person to be like, don't talk to that person. They're evil or they're mean or they're, they just don't have a good vibe. And I'll be like, no, no, let's give them a chance. And sure enough, she's right. And she's done that multiple times, probably a dozen times. She's been right about a lot of stuff. So um, she's very intuitive. She's very good at cards. She's very good at the Akashic Records. Um, she's more and well versed than I am in the Akashic Records. I, I don't. I mean, I, I deal with the Akashic Records, but not to the capacity that she does. She's amazing. Yeah, I think that's it. If there's anything that left out, if you guys have any questions, I don't even know if anybody watched my last video, to be quite honest with you. Um, so I'm probably just talking to a few of you, and that's fine by me, you know. I'm okay with that. But uh, yeah, so I hope everyone's staying safe, healthy, happy, and well. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.